Good morning, people of the grid. It's Saturday morning. We're well into the weekend. We got to tell you two things. Uh, we're going snowboarding today. That's thing one. That is going to be awesome because it is so nice out. The temperature is warmed up. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to get out there. We're about a half an hour away from the hill. Number two, we started watching a show that little Sammy, who's not with us, I got to wow, double check. Sounded... She's not with us because she's at school working on a play project. So I've got sort of a reduced crew. I've got Ethan, Amelia, and wee baby Melissa in the back. We're going snowboarding. Last night, we started watching a new show on Netflix that it's been, it's in season one, or season one is being released, and it is unbelievable. It's called The Umbrella Academy, and it's kind of like a takeoff on X-Men with, uh, what's his name? Peculiar Joe. Oh. Xavier? Yeah. The guy? No, yeah. Yeah, Charles it's, Xavier. Charles Xavier. It's kind of like a, a take on X-Men. It's really good. It's really, peculiar really children, good. Kind of. My only concern with anything on TV, and especially anything Netflix, is kind of like Stranger Things. Kind of like uh, Better Call Saul. Like, you don't know if it's going to keep coming, and you get so vested in into space. these shows. Lost in space. Where's the, where's the next part? I, I really wish that... I don't know, and I don't know how you do it, because there's a lot of money involved in making these things but uh, I hope they come out with more soon because Stranger Things we love Lost in Space we love The Umbrella Academy is looking like it is really really going to be good we've only seen one episode but we're in right? Mm -hmm. I like it so far yeah yeah, we're in and uh, after snowboarding tonight I think we're going to watch our two remaining episodes of Star Trek that's the original 1960's version of Star Trek we're taking our kids through all of the Star Treks because it's awesome and it's part of nerd training. Everybody's got to do it, right? For sure. Oh, oh, New York. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Tell us about New York. Hey, what's up everyone? Hey, people of the grid. It's your boys, <laughs> Chip the Hoy and Ethan Olsu Basic back at it again in Little Italy. We got Jericho here too. I want to be into Hey, Jericho. <laughs> Hey, what up, guys? Hello. We're out here in the rain. It's kind of brutal, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do when you're on that vlogging grind. Guys, we're good. Hey, guys, we're in the Rock What's Center up? Cafe at the Big Rock Tower. With it's everyone. not called that. It's called the Rockefeller what? Tower. Yeah, well, close is. enough. Rockefeller. Very cool. Hey. Let me take a poll. Hey guys, so we're at the top of the it's Rock Rockefeller wow. Center. Uh, we have zero zero visibility, <laughs> but it's still cool to be up here. We got everyone down here. <laughs> I see me, but I'm here. Hi. <laughs> we're cool. Epic style right now. That was an experience and a half. Was it? It was pretty cool. Yeah. I find that in New York, everything moves quicker, like traffic, even sidewalk traffic, you know? They walk faster? Yeah, just in general. It's all good though. It's, nice. I like the speed there. Got to see a bunch of museums like the Met, the MoMA, the Museum of Natural History, and the Whitney Museum, I think. Yeah. So those were all pretty cool. Some cool art. Mm -hmm. Got to see Statue of Liberty. And got to go to the UN. You guys did a you guys did a, a flyby on a on a boat, right? You didn't stop yeah, off. Yeah, we Staten didn't Island. stop at no. You did yeah. a drive, but you got a good look at it, right? Yeah. Go into the no, I didn't, Lisa. Next time, you know what? These places, Ethan. I mean, especially a place like New York. It, mm -hmm. You can't do it in five days. No, so. no, you need more time, and it's good to go like this because then you realize, man, I want to get back there. I want to yep. see more of this place. Mm -hmm. I was there once once for a, for a job interview I flew in I landed at midnight my luggage didn't make it my interview was at uh, I think 10 a.m. in the morning I walked past a Gap store I bought a dress shirt a jacket I didn't go with a tie and I scored because the interviewers weren't wearing ties either and uh, got the job and then I flew back at 6 p.m. Wow. I never saw my luggage that whole trip because I told the the airport at LaGuardia I said you know what just they said it's going to come on the next flight so i said just hold it and i'll pick it up on my way home so they held it on my way home they said yeah we haven't gotten it yet so we'll just send it back to to calgary so they did my luggage arrived at the house a few days later so mm -hmm. i never got to use any of wow. that stuff but it was awesome like new york city is... to work out so you rode the subway you got to times square mm -hmm. you went to um the memorial central park yeah you went to the memorial which is pretty cool mm -hmm. and you would oh go... we saw a 
a Broadway play. That was pretty cool too. Oh to yeah, kill to kill a mockingbird. Mm -hmm. So Ethan said he was really touched by the Broadway uh -huh. play. Mm -hmm. You know what? They're ama they're amazing. Like they really are. I'd love to see more Broadway plays. I gotta yeah. take them. I off. thought the plays we saw here were super good, and that those ones were like ten times better. So. I know. I know. Awesome. Impressive. Awesome. So now you're a world traveler. I mean, you've mm -hmm. already been to, you've been to California probably 10 times at least in your life. Yeah. Been to Hawaii twice now. New York by yourself. Nice. Down to California a few times. Yep. Looking pretty good. All right, let's, uh, let's get into some snowboarding, shall we? So nice to be out here. It's warm. We're not zipping up just yet. How's your day? Pretty good. How's your day? Little Billy. Being pretty good so far. Thought we'd stop for lunch break. We're coming down the hill and little Melissa got smoked by a skier. Came up from behind her, crossed under her board, knocked the wind out of her and just kept going. So we picked her up, dusted her off and she's all good now. She's tough. Right, Melissa? sandwich you got there. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you tired? something to eat like we just had a big lunch fries. you want fries we had a big lunch you're good <laughs> Melissa got cold so she came inside a few runs ago I just came in to find her Ethan and Amelia are wrapping up the last run for the day and then we're gonna take Melissa to a birthday party she's going to the pool to the hot tub water slide it's gonna be fun and yeah. a sleepover did you have a fun day yep we snowboarded hard hey Awesome, so nice out here. Hey people of the grid, we are back home. It's almost 10 o'clock, we've had supper, we had a great night. My legs are so sore, I worked every muscle, and if I move my leg the wrong way, I like, they cramp up. I had my foot cramp up a bit, it took like 20 minutes for it to kind of loosen up. Yeah, so we had a nice day. Did you have a nice day, Sammy Pepper? Yep, sad I didn't get to go snowboarding, but. We're currently on episode three of the Umbrella Academy, 
awesome show. Hey, we loving it? Yeah. So we're going to finish up another one tonight, and then uh, we're into our Sunday. So hope you guys had a good Saturday. Take it easy. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. Mike Kerr? Samantha. Out.